Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Last month I shot a ton of videos and unfortunately they all got deleted. Uh, absolutely my fault. I just accidentally deleted it uh, from the memory. I am setting this month slightly delayed uh, because uh, the last week of January was filled with weddings and functions and what not so uh, i'm ready to take on february this is the second weekend of february so i'm fairly late uh, but never better late than never uh, so let's start i'll just quickly show you how did uh, my month look like in my ink bucket planner so as you can see i've kept up uh, with a lot of things so my trackers are almost on track uh, I have not set up any of these. Uh, this is uh, this was uh, my January month. Of course, I filmed a video, but uh, unfortunately, it was lost. Uh, then we have uh, the dashboard uh, for January. Again, very pretty. Uh, this uh, I don't remember shooting this. Uh, yeah, this is just uh, one of the starting pages. This is where I wrote all my video ideas. And as you can see, I could just execute two video ideas uh, from this month. Um, this was my weekly reflections and this was uh, an extension to the weekly reflections and I absolutely love uh, how this has uh, come up to. This is again my weekly reflections and I, as you can see I have uh, kept it up. The last week of January was too many weddings and whatnot, so as you can see I have decorated it but did not have the time uh, really to go ahead and um, write in it so I am not complaining. But again, one weekly reflections is uh, not done. Uh, then I have my uh, list of ideas in February. As you can see, I have executed quite a few uh, of these videos and they are all up uh, on my channel. So please uh, do have a look. Uh, my monthly reflections also was done um, again offline. I have not shot it or whatever, but that is personal. Uh, then I have um, the February cover page. For today's video, I'm just going to set up uh, the monthly dashboard for the month of February. This month, what I have done is I've already set up uh, things that I really want to use. Um, I will show you my collection at some point in time, but currently these are the few things that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how I've already decided on that just to save a little bit of time. So what I don't use on this uh, page is essentially um, the expense tracker. I definitely don't use this and I also don't use these habit trackers because as you saw uh, at the very start, I have my extensive habit trackers already listed out. So I don't use these habit trackers. So what I generally do is I use stickers uh, in these places like I, I'll show you quickly uh, my January month. So here as you can see I have uh, loaded up this uh, with stickers but I still feel um, there is definitely something better that I can use so this month uh, I'm just going to try uh, covering this up with larger pieces uh, of paper and see how it looks again I'm trying uh, different things to see what works and what looks better so let's get started just to give you a quick idea what I'm going to do is I have these uh, really pretty papers which I'm going to just stick here like this. I'm just going to figure out what, when. So I just went into my stack uh, and figured out longer papers, which I can use uh, for habit trackers. And then uh, this paper pretty much fit here. Uh, and it went with the theme. So as you can see, the, the, uh, the theme for the month, uh, if you can see here, is blue and this maroonish pink. Uh, it is a very unique color. So I've chosen this. Uh, to go here and this again uh, reflects the little bit of maroon there so that will come in and this will complement the blue so that will go here um, I have these uh, cardstock which again I have uh, purchased up from some or the other journaling store um, on Instagram uh, if you want to know what journaling stores that I use uh, regularly on Instagram uh, please go check out my last video I have put up a lot of the journaling stores on Instagram there. I will also link those uh, in the description box below. But just uh, in case you want to know, please uh, do check that out. So these are a few, uh, these are chart paper, cardboard paper, really nice uh, quality printouts. Um, and these are very vintage. So give me some time and I shall be back after sticking these uh, few things up. 
so i have glued in this paper as well as this one and now i'm going to figure out how am i going to place these uh, really pretty vintage things uh, so i think i will stick to the brown themes on this one and these really nice pictures here let's see so i think i like uh, this particular placement and i think this is all looking very cohesive uh, i'm just going to stick all of them and get back i've stuck these pictures up and they look absolutely pretty how pretty and vintage uh, does this look i'm just going to write the word of the month here um, i think uh, it's the valentines month writing love here would only be logical so i've written love here uh, then going on to intentions and agendas um, i think i have just two major intentions uh, this month is i think the first intention is to get organized and i will tell you why uh, as i said uh, there were tons and uh, there were a lot of weddings that i had to attend uh, last month and uh, the things have been haywire my wardrobes have been um, unorganized there have been a lot of chaos uh, into my systems at this point so i just want to be organized this month uh, that is my first intention my second uh, intention uh, is a work intention uh, one of my intention uh, at work this month is to get proactive and not reactive and it means a lot of things uh, in my work context so i have uh, written that here in i'm looking forward to uh, there are a lot of things uh, in bombay at this point uh, which i want to experience which i will write in new things to try uh, so essentially i'm looking forward to the month of love i have a uh, planned things uh, for a few friends as well as my partner and my son uh, for this month and i'm really excited uh, to see all the places do all the things do all the activities that we've planned uh, so that is the reason i'm looking forward to the month of love uh, top priorities uh, this month uh, i have a few first and foremost the biggest priority uh, for me this month is going to be tax planning that march is around the corner and i don't want to wait till march to do my tax planning so that is one of my biggest priority for the month of february uh then i since i will uh, declutter and clean my wardrobe and closet and all of that so i think the second priority is donating uh the third uh, priority uh is that next month onwards my son's exams are going uh, to start so prep for exams and the last priority is to exercise at least 20 days so these are uh, essentially my top priorities for the month again uh, these are my personal priorities uh, my work priorities will go in my work planner um, then going forward uh, important dates obviously 14th is the valentines day or i think these are the four events that i'm looking forward to uh, new things to try these are the things that i have planned over the weekends for the month of february there is an urban art festival in sasoon docks which essentially is very pretty i have seen a few things here and there because if you live in bombay and the art festival is out in the open i have seen a couple of pieces but now i want to dedicatedly go there uh, and see the art there so that is something that i'm looking forward to take a weekend out say a sunday morning or a saturday afternoon and go and see that so that is uh, one of my things to uh, new things to try for this month and there is a van gogh experience that i also want to try this is somewhere in worli and the tickets are blocked for a lot of weekends so i'm thinking of squeezing this uh, in one of the weekdays let's see how do i get tickets and things like that but this is also something uh, that i'm looking forward to uh, for no notes and doodles i'm just going to keep this uh, space empty if it is going empty even at the end of the month what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to stick uh, one of these vintage stickers uh, back here again and uh, we should be done i think so this is it this is uh, my dashboard uh, for the ink bucket for the month of um, february and i absolutely love it so yeah thank you for watching if you would like to see more and more planning videos uh, from me please do consider subscribing if you're watching this video till now i'm so so grateful for you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already bye now